Welcome to the channel. I'm Tequila B with True Love Designs, and today I'm doing a pattern review on Nomi ME 2046. I sold this pattern back in March, and here's a picture of the pattern. I've been wanting a garment like this for a long time. When this pattern came out, I immediately knew I had to get my hands on it. This pattern gives everything classic, chic, simple, yet sophisticated, and it gives you plenty of options for wearing. View A is what I would consider like kind of a tunic, but not really, because you could make this dress length if you want to, but I say a tunic slash like overlay garment that you can wear over a nice pair of tights, pants, or jeans, and it really gives a sexy yet classy and sophisticated look. View C is the pants, and view B is actually the dress. Now the difference between the two is that on view A, you have a split that comes up to your waist. It starts at the waist and goes down. Then on view B, the split on this dress is a knee length split. So for the more modest, if you wanna wear this alone, I would suggest view B, but hey, if you wanna wear view A by itself, be my guest, it's your preference. So in this pattern, I did so view A because I really love the way that this stopped at the waist and just kind of flares out and you can see whatever item of clothing you're going to wear underneath. For me, I did pair this with a pair of tights as well as a skirt and both looked amazing. I was a little skeptical about what it would look like with the skirt underneath, especially since the skirt was a shorter skirt. But it looked just fine and it's absolutely how I would choose to wear this garment. Let's talk about the neckband on this garment. Now my neckbands have really been hit and miss here lately. When I first started back to sewing, I could do a neckband so easily and it would come out perfect every time. Somewhere along the line, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the pattern or if I just need to create a basic neckband pattern for my patterns, one that I know always fits. But this neckband was actually not bad. It fit pretty well and it snapped right on. So I took a tip from Gertie and sewed this neckband using a 2.5 by 2.5 stitch. So my width and length of stitches for this neckband was 2.5. Now let's talk about the sleeves. On this pattern, you have a ruched sleeve. For me, I probably should have shortened my sleeve, but I knew there was gonna be ruching, so I thought this would kind of make up for the extra length in the sleeve. I am on the more petite side, so I should have shortened this sleeve, but I really didn't know like where it was gonna fall once you added the elastic for the ruching on the sleeves. Now there's ruching on both sides of the sleeves, which I thought was like a very cute design because initially I thought the ruching was just on one side of the sleeve. So if you didn't catch that, you will need some elastic for this pattern. Other than that, there are no notions for view A or B. I did not hem my sleeves on this pattern. I used a Montreal knit, which I purchased from Hobby Lobby some time ago. And this fabric did not fray, so it was perfectly fine for me not to hem those sleeves. I also made some adjustments to this pattern. I've learned that it's probably a good idea for me to go ahead and adjust my pattern by shortening it six inches at the waistline. This particular time, I only shortened it by three inches. And if you can see on the back of the dress, there is still like a little extra fabric in the back. So it probably would have been a much better fit and look if I had went ahead and shortened it the full six inches. 
I love the slit up the side. Other than shortening this pattern, I made no other adjustments. I have also not hemmed the bottom of this garment because again, it does not fray and you cannot tell and it still looks amazing. So will I go in and make hems? I don't know, probably not because the garment is done, it's finished and it looks great without the hem. Would I sew this pattern again? I absolutely would. I actually plan to make view B, which is the dress version of this pattern. I do want to make another view A, but maybe like in a black or a white. What do you think? Yeah, I think that would be cute. Um, as far as the pants, I don't really have any interest in making the pants to this pattern, but the way she has styled them with this dress option, I think is really cute. It gives a really classic and sophisticated look without showing too much skin, if any at all. I've mentioned before having some fit issues as far as the size of the pattern that I choose to sew. With most of the patterns, it puts me like in a size 14 to 16, which I've learned is too big for me once I actually sew it up. Even going by the finished garment measurements and everything, it still does not fit as it should. So I went ahead and opted to sew a size 12 in this pattern and it is absolutely spot on. Do I recommend this pattern for beginners? I absolutely do. Not only is this pattern great for beginners, but it is a great pattern to build your skills. This pattern only uses elastic and this will be a great introduction to using elastic because it's very simple. You're sewing one straight line on a short portion of the fabric for the sleeves. And so you need four pieces of elastic because it's on both sides of the sleeves. And once you sew that up, it just kind of, it does its own thing. Like the pattern really comes alive right before your eyes. So this is a great one for beginners. Pick it up. This is a good start to making dresses. And not only that, but you get to practice working on those neckbands. And like I said, for this one, this neckband piece is a great piece. It really snaps on and fits as it should. Just make sure that you use a zigzag stitch so that you can easily pull this dress on and off. I don't have any dislikes when it comes to this pattern. It's absolutely amazing and I think everyone could do themselves a favor by sewing up this pattern. I don't have any like major recommendations. Definitely need to use a knit fabric, but um, hey, use a pretty print. I saw so many pictures and posts of people that sewed up this pattern in different prints. I even saw one that was color blocked, which I thought was like amazing. And I never would have thought to color block this. This pattern looks amazing sewed up in a good print. I don't know if I have any good knit prints that I would want to actually like make in this pattern. Maybe, I don't know. I am looking for, I am wanting to make more dresses for summer and just overall. So I know I will be making view B soon because view B is just as cute as view A. So if you don't have this pattern in your collection, definitely pick up this pattern. If you are looking for a quick and easy dress pattern to sew up, this one is a good one. You can make this in an afternoon and wear it at the door. If you haven't already, hit that like button below and make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on more sewing content like this. Until next time, see it, make it, slay it.